This is Stephanie Dupuy with Dupuy Team at Keller Williams West Sound and Cassandra Lopez, Dupuy Team, Keller Williams West Sound. Welcome to our weekly stats video. Yes, and we are going to talk with you today about buyers and how buyers can best navigate this market and explain to you why uh, typically the fall and winter markets slow down but that's not what we're seeing this year. In fact, yep. we're seeing quite the opposite yep. in how buyers, what buyers need to know and what they can do yep. to navigate this. Yep. So quickly, briefly, a synopsis on the current market. Listings are increasing, pendings are increasing, souls are increasing, everything's increasing, which is causing, that's Cassie's. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, guys. Whoa. <laughs> we're getting to 377 yeah. uh, homes on market for yeah. in all of Kitsap County. It's the entire well, county. This is. Without without me. Oh, you're right. This Thanks. is the number with, with the entire. Of, Thank you. Kids have, yeah. yeah. So, um, so anyhow, still whoa, guys. That, that's <laughs> record record low. Yeah. So this is what this means for yeah. sellers. Sellers, um, don't be afraid that your house is going to sit on the market if you put it on the market yeah. right now. Like clearly, 162 pending and 113 sold in the last seven days. You guys. That's like that's a that's a summer more than market. half that's like more than half the market. We're coming into the holidays, yes. and that's a, that's what we saw this summer. Yes, it, it, graphic might be a little higher. I need yeah. to run numbers, but yeah. that's easily what we saw this summer. So, so yeah, don't be afraid because mm -hmm. there's probably not another house active in your neighborhood. There's probably minimal mm -hmm. houses active in your school district or whatever. Um, because the school district does play a huge role in where people buy, mm -hmm. but um, these numbers aren't lying. These numbers are actual factual market data that we pulled this morning. So actual, factual. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, don't be afraid to put your house yeah. on the market. No, if but, the time is right for you, the time is right for you. Yeah, and fact. the market's saying the time is right also. The market's saying the time is right for you. <laughs> That's what the market's saying. The market's the like, end. <laughs> get your house on the market. Yeah. It's, it's, we continue to see uh, uh, the market improve for sellers, mm -hmm. and I don't see this slowing down anytime no. soon. It is a really yeah. good time to sell. When we go into the holidays, a lot of sellers think they need to wait until January to list their house, and that's a myth. Super myth, because yep. everyone else is thinking the same thing. So guess what? Everyone puts their house on the market at the same time, and you just added competition to your Yeah, your and here's the other thing, is everybody's thinking the same thing. So right before the holidays, there's nothing on the market. You have no competition, and a bunch of buyers yep. who want to buy, and these are your most serious buyers of the year. Yep. If I'm going to sell a house, and I want a serious buyer who's going to put it into escrow and close with no hanky-panky, no riffraff, this is when you do it. You put it on the market between now and the end of the year. What if I get, I get riff for saying actual factual and you say hey, you pay. <laughs> so, Well, you mentioned buyers, let's talk about buyers. Okay. So buyers right now, um, you know, a couple of them who are out there, mm -hmm. they're pre-approved, you know, they're actively looking, but they're not serious. They're like, I'm just gonna write an offer just to see what happens. Yeah, that buyer, they're it's gonna get beat out every time. They're gonna, you're not gonna get a house. No, and you're gonna make your agent crazy. Yeah. So what what an offer means, when you put an offer on a home, you offer to purchase the home. You're not offering to see what the seller will say. This isn't a rummage sale. Yeah, you're not offering just because you have nothing better to do that day and you think your agent's bored and needs business. They aren't bored. Right they're now. not bored, they're, they're messed We're out. working like. Yeah, so you're putting an offer with the intent to purchase the home. And if you don't intend on purchasing the home, move on and put an offer on another home because everything that goes in to your agent writing the offer, sending you for signatures, sending to the listing agent, mm -hmm. scheduling a meeting with the seller to present your yeah. offer, okay? That's four like legs of time. So there are you telling me they're not only asking their the buyer's agent to, to spend hours driving them around to find a house. Mm -hmm. Our, you know, some time writing their offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, because offers, you just don't like spit them out. You gotta do a little research. You gotta do some research. Yeah. You have to maybe think. Maybe call the listing broker and say, what are we up against? Yeah. You know, how can we tailor this offer to, to win? Yeah. And then you have to go back to your buyer and be like, all right, this is what we need, A, B, and C. Buyer, you decide. Call what are we gonna letter, do? Call the pre approval letter, make sure the pre approval letter is. That's another part of it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get the pre approval yeah, letter. Yeah, you just don't like scratch. And then, you coordinate with the, the, the selling side, the mm -hmm. listing side, mm -hmm. and then the and then you're asking the listing.
marketing side to do a bunch of stuff on their end for your offer, yeah. okay? It's serious business to write an offer. Don't take it lightly. Don't buy into the hype you read online that you just, just submit an offer, who cares? Right now, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Take it seriously. Only write offers on homes you're dead serious about. Yep, and make your terms such that you will be the winning bidder. I can pay my own closing costs, but I don't want to. You're gonna pay your own closing costs. <laughs> do it because yeah. you know what the buyer you're competing against will pay their own closing costs they have the attitude that like i want this house and i'm going to do whatever it takes to get this house all chips in you need to go in with highest and best yep literally up front highest and best yep. no counter you don't want to give the opportunity for a counter because what's going to happen you're going to put in an offer asking for closing costs the seller's gonna counter back and say, no, I'm not paying closing costs. In the meantime- I come in of my buyer yep, and we- A better it. offer comes in while you're countering back and forth mm -hmm. and seller says, taking this one, done. No more messing around. Yep. And you just lost the house. You did, you just lost the house. Yep. And often you then say, what, what does your client say then? Well, I would have paid. Yeah, if I'd have known. I would have paid closing costs. You know what, let's just assume from now on, let's just assume that you're up against everybody and because you kind of are, you are. <laughs> and that you need to come in with your highest and best and that you every need to, time yeah yeah yep every time closing yeah. costs no seller concessions quick closing if you can get pre-approved with an underwritten pre-approval yes. lender none of these point and clicks online none of these like national we're seeing sellers yeah. reject uh certain lenders right now Most especially assuredly. the uh quick and loans mm -hmm. is a one around here. Their their motto, their slogan is literally push button gets mortgage. Yeah, and and the reason is is that they're they're refusing to write an approved lender mm -hmm. or loan or letter, and the sellers don't believe that you have gone through the yeah. uh, criteria to to prove that you can get a loan. And like that's on right. a bigger scale, that's called a stated income loan, and that's kind of what led to our last market crash. It was, oh, that's one, a good it point. was one of the huge factors. So if you're doing that, if you're buying into the point like click button, get mortgage, you know, fad, mm -hmm. uh, you're actually probably contributing to our market downturn. So, yeah. So, you know, take the home buying process seriously. Mm -hmm. um, make offers with your fiercest intent. Mm -hmm. Put in your highest and best offer to begin with, mm -hmm. unless your uh, agent advises otherwise. Mm -hmm. Listen to your agent, follow their recommendation. Um, you need to have cash mm -hmm. uh, for down payment, closing costs, highly recommended. Yep. Um, you're gonna really struggle in this market if you do not have cash. Yep. Um, that's the other that's the other trend coming down. You don't down wanna the road. be a renter in this rental market. It's gonna the rental you market's gonna to get worse. Hard. Buying is easier than renting. True story. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, I think we, we said it. Okay. Lot. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this, please make a comment below, share it with your friends. If you have questions, comment below. Uh, like us on Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, Instagram. Yep. I'm Stephanie Dupuy with Dupuy Team at Keller Williams West Sound and- Cassandra is, Lopez with Dupuy Team at Keller Williams West Sound. Thanks for joining us. Thank you we'll very see you much. Next week. We will see you next week.